Who reviews. Today we're going to talk to Who Revolution of the Daleks. Um, this takes place 10 months after the Timeless Children, where uh, Ryan, Graham, and Yaz are just in Earth for that long, and uh, Yaz just uh, denied the Doctor is dead. And uh, it turns out uh, Jack Robinson made this uh, deal with a public official to market some new uh, drones or robotic drones that look like Daleks. So they're going turn out the inventor of the drones modeled uh, the drones after the Dalek and turn out there's a piece left of the DNA of the Dalek from uh, Revolutions. Yeah, it's connected to this. And uh, there's a scientist named uh, Leo clone the freaking thing. And then see it, it took over Leo when uh, Robinson told him to uh, burn it. Since they looked disgusting. And, uh, and also turns out the Doctor has been in that uh, prison for uh, 79 billion years. Um, the Doctor just saves her, but I don't know if they said if the prison was Storm Cage or Shada. I don't know if they put that up somewhere with so many Italian players. Just wonder here. And uh, also, well, I kind of like get to talk that Jack kind of yeah, so the the and so for Docker and in one or two ways either they leave her or she leaves them. It kinda of reminded me of a little bit of uh school new when Sarah Jane the same robe and Joe Rose asked if uh, she should still travel with the doctor. Yeah. Kinda of reminded me of that. Um turns out the the living uh, clone that excel have been has been making the other clones of the Dalek in the uh, Pirate Pan. Um, and when uh, Yaz and Jack get there, it's like a clone farm. Then the Dalek even uh, feeding the clones uh, liquid, uh, liquidization humans. Yeah. And uh, eventually, Doctor has a plan of getting the Enforcer Daleks to call them. Yeah, you know that's supposed to be a bad idea. And they say the Daleks that are the drones uh, are impure because they have the human DNA in them. But didn't they try making humans out of Daleks before in the, in the sixth Doctor episode? And in the asylum of the Daleks that human Convert uh, our Dalek convert humans, and with the eye stalk and the uh, and the thing looking at the hand, the, the laser looking at the hands. Uh, I don't know. And you can kind of tell that Robinson's going to betray the Doctor in order to uh, to get the Daleks on his side. But I kinda like that still say exterminate Robinson just get to, after getting that information, but ooh, whatever. I also like the talk that Ryan had with the doctor when she's saying that after finding out she's the time is the child she even know who she is. But I think the scene went a bit went a bit better with the Rootless Doctor back in the Times Children, but mm. Anyway, the Doctor at the uh, Traps the Daleks in the uh, second tower that's on, or then fall, makes it fall in on itself to put it into the void. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, but. And General Robinson's getting the credit for their being, their being safe. Yeah, it's gonna happen to a worse man. And uh, the doctor and the, her farmer fuck off. But Ryan said he wants to leave, and Graham said he's going to leave as well. So it's only going to be uh, the Dr. Niaz. And you kind of like 
and a Graham Rice said story that kind of came round again and came around it when it began with them rain of brain trying to teach Brian how to ride a bike and then that's the sequence and going to different places and turned out the doctor gave a rain a, 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 a Ryan a, a white beanie and a, a, the psychic paper I wonder if that's a spare or you know, the only psychic paper she has I guess either trying to make it more interesting for the see uh, the psychic paper as a crutch like uh, the, the sonic through there but whatever mm, yeah, that's an episode I have to say it's a good but I don't think it's the best that it uh, story ever like, like I like the enforcer that it says seems very kind of interesting and I kind of like that they do exterminate the Dark the, 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 the clone of the drone Dark in though he's saying that he can be a uh, made pure again but the regular Dark saying there's only one way to get purity and extermination Ugh. I don't know. And you can like Jack in this. And I like about the and when he calls after saying that uh, when Cooper actually took on the dialogue with a boss glove on his son's bike or something. And he's got a cat's water. Yeah, that's not some bad to happen, don't you? Ugh. Yeah, Trouble follows the doctor and probably follows uh, Jack as well. I, I think uh, Jack gets much exposition beginning but I don't know he seems to fill the role of action man in this and uh, I think Yaz's actor was okay probably a bit better than Ryan's but Bob Ryan did uh, get a little better since the last season I think uh, as always Graham's actor was uh, better than the three and I uh, just wonder what I gotta do with the doctor. Just uh, wonder who she is, or is she gonna, they gonna stick with that and probably get more, more information about the time of the trial or something, but you know. And I just wonder who that uh, person is that knocked uh, El Leo out and put him into a van. In the astronaut, or is there really a scene or something? And, uh, yeah, I think it's a good episode, but I think the Revolutions is a better and near that episode than it, but that's just my opinion. I, and I also like the look of the mutant dialects, the, I like the red, red eye and that. And uh, I think they just overdid explaining how bad the Daleks are. This, this, that's probably just because uh, I'm a, a ongoing fan. It's part the explanation probably for the newer fans. But anyway, uh, in terms of, I'll see you guys later.